What is up, man? NFL 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the X-Factor formation. I told you guys in the beginning of the week, a lot of good X-Factor formation breakdowns so far this season, but uh, none better than this. Uh, the one we're going to show you today, guys. This is sick. Uh, really, really good breakdown. You guys are going to want to definitely watch all of this one. Um, this is probably one of the best mini schemes in Madden NFL 25. It comes from the Shotgun Five wide receiver trio. What we like to do with the Cleveland Browns is we like to substitute Jason Campbell in at quarterback for this package. And uh, the base play from this set is the mesh um, with the auto motion over here. And we're going to hit A and show you this play. Uh, a lot of times when they see you come out in five wide receiver, they'll come out in a quarter normal. And uh, we'll come out in qu quarter normal cover for us, show you all these plays. Um, Real quick, the, the quick audibles from this are phenomenal. Uh, the quick audible down is the jet sweep. Obviously, we're not going to have Cameron there. We're actually going to switch. Uh, I'm actually going to go back and show you. But we're going to have – you see how good that run is this year. I haven't really ever ran that jet sweep. Actually, guys, this uh, mini scheme um, is almost directly correlated from this week in Madden. Uh, they run it very similar to the way that I'm going to talk about it today. Um and I, I love this play. I love it. I like it as a mini scheme. I think they, but they like it as a base play. Uh, I think it's the reason I don't like it as a base play is because you can't get out of it. You have to stay in it, and that's one of the biggest flaw. I feel like that's that's a flaw. I feel like you can't you can't have that in a scheme. I feel like that's more of a mini scheme, more of something like a trinket play that you show every once in a while. But uh, real quick, starting off this jet sweep. This is what you want to use to establish. You want to establish this play. This is one of the better runs. In, they're all, all the runs are good this year, guys. I'm not going to lie. But the, when, when the, the jet sweeps blocking, for whatever reason, guys, it just hits the hole really effectively. And it forces defenses. Quarters actually defends the jet sweep better than, like, most four down linemen, four three sets, because they're wide and out. And that's where the jet sweep is trying to attack. Um, and then uh, you can mix in your mesh play. We're going to go over the mesh play in a second. Um, the, then what you want to do after you start establishing play action, or a, a, actually start establishing jet sweep, jet sweep, jet sweep, then you're going to call the play action jet sweep. And the beauty of this is we can audible or we can make hot routes on it. So because it's a quarterback in the backfield, not a, not a back, not a running back, not like a wildcat. So I like to put Gordon on a flat route. And that's the only adjustment I have to make here. And what I'm going to do is I want to snap it. I'm going to roll to my right, roll to my right, roll to my right. And that flat route's going to come up field, and that's what I'm really trying to hit because it's going to get in a very tender spot against the zone. Now, now if they're in man coverage, this is where this play really is deadly. Um, when they when they go to you know plays like two man under, um, this is going to be a phenomenal play for two man under. So what I like to do with this, and this is this is why we substitute Jason Campbell in there, is because he's a little bit more mobile than Brian Hoyer. And you'll see I could just roll out to the right if they're in man. And go, 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 and, and turn the Jets on. What I like to also do real quick is I'll slide protect to the right so that they'll, they'll, they'll kind of roll with me. Um, and and it just makes this little run to Campbell. another Yet another thing, that goes, it's just a natty thing they're going to have to watch out. They're going to have to put a contain there. And you see a lot of times what's happening, what's happening is Benjamin's guy is going to blitz down. Now, that's why this scheme is really, really effective for the, the Cincinnati Bengals. But I actually have something else I'm working on with them. For you guys, so we can use Jason Campbell's limited mobility. Even though it's not perfect, it's good enough to get the job done. See, he'll blitz, and then I can just drop out into Benjamin, and then go, 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 and no huddle, no huddle, no huddle. This is a very difficult thing to guard against, and that's why the base play is just sweet. But we come out in the mesh because it's not one of our quick audibles. And then real quick, some other reads on this play. Uh, if they're in cover three. What I'll do is if they're in cover three, you see I'll roll, roll. Okay, I read the coverage. I set up in the pocket, and I see that our, you know, RB a lot of times will be open. Um, you're really not going to mess with much of the route's backside. You have the deep out for a little, just in case you read two men under. I mean, if you read two men under, say you read two men under, they have a spy and a contain. So something like this. And you're basically your only read is if that DN blitzes down or stands up. So here he's going to stand up, contain. So then I'll just go to that, to that out route. So it's it's all based off of what the defense does, which is what I really like about this uh, little play here. Um, this play is very simple, but in Madden 25 this year, offense is very simple in general. Um, against you know zone, you have that you still have that deep post. You like to work the post game. Just a lot of things they have to worry about, but it all starts with establishing a run and establishing that that run to Campbell and establishing that route to Gordon because that flat route to Gordon is just going to cut up field like that, and it gets cover four. It's going to crush it. And then real quick, let's take a look at this against cover two. 
Okay, so cover two coverage, guys. Same adjustments, nothing changes, and um, just the reads do. Basically, who's open do. So here we go. Okay, we're going right, right. Nobody's open. Nobody's open. All of a sudden, that RB flat route is going to pull the deep blue, and that's what I love about this little five wide receiver mini scheme. I can't remember if S. Gibbs talked about that on Twitter or not at all, but with, when you put Gordon on the flat route over there, what happens is he's going to jump back to the inside. And not only that, but the post route really is the main route that does this. But both routes combine. We have time in the pocket, and we're just going to bomb over the top of the cover two. The deep blue safety is going to get completely manipulated by the route combinations and leave him wide open. Uh, for a touchdown. Now, what happens if they blitz you? You say, okay, well, yeah, Cody, that's good. But, you know, what happens if they're cover two and they're going to send heavy pressure? Well, you get play action blocking, first of all. And, and, and play action blocking in this year, as we know, is very effective for picking up pressure. So here's some pressure that will work from what I worked on in quarters this year. Basics align basic alignment. Let's go ahead and pass commit real quick, though. And the play action block is going to pick up some of it. But what's going what's to have open is you're going to try to roll. And all of a sudden, you, you can't. You're right. You can't. What we're going to do to prevent this is we're going to use the, the, the canceling of the play action. So we're going to hold our trigger at the snap of the ball to cancel the play action so that we don't get creamed um, in a cover two situation. And that's probably the best way to actually combat this play is to send pressure. Which, But, but that's the thing is, and that's where this becomes a really good scheme is the mesh play you can't really blitz it so it all works together but if they catch us and if they catch us in this play when they're blitzing we're going to hold our trigger to cancel the play action and just dump the ball to the flats and you got to have you're going to have Gordon over there you're going to have a blocker or two and you know that's cover two which is actually pretty strong against the flats when they when they send pressure because of those initial deep blue zones but again at the same time um, they're not going to be able to just, they're just not going to be able to cover everything that they need to cover. Let me get my, let me get my linebacker in its proper position for the pressure to work. I'll just hold him there. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at this one more time here. Cancel the play action and get the ball to your hands. And you see you have that, because of that, that's exactly why... You know, if it, it's hit or miss if they blitz. If they blitz, it'll be hit or miss whether you get a touchdown or you maybe get stopped for two yards. But the key is when you cancel the play action, you get the ball to your hands. The play action blocking is going to stop the right edge heat. And what's going to happen here is you got that flat route. That flat route's going to hold the initial flat route, the initial flat zone by the corner. It's going to allow you to just dip it underneath the Benjamin, and then you can get off to the races with his high agility ratings and, and speed ratings. So that's how we like to use those plays. And uh, that's enough for those plays because that's a lot of uh, content for those plays. Now, um, the next play, we'll go over Strong Flood real quick. Strong Flood is really just hot things you could have done with your hot routes. So what we'll do with this is we'll just set up from this our mesh play. So we'll come out. When we come out, we always initially audible to jet sweep, and that's the basic thing. But then when we want to come back into jet sweep, watch what happens. The only thing that happens is Little's going to move to the inside. That's the only change in the play, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to audible to the strong flood. And we're going to motion Benjamin to the right so that he sits like this so that it just changes the front. And then we'll audible out so that now we have two people shifting and we're coming into the mesh. And the only, thing, the only adjustment we make on this play is we put bees on a smoke screen. That's going to create a uh, smash concept to the right side of the field, and we're going to have the wheel and the drag, which are very effective. Real quick, cover four. Your first read is always going to be your drag or your smoke screen, and here you see it gets cover four. That's a very good option. Your second read against cover four, is, or your second read on this play, really, is always going to be Benjamin, and you see it gets cover four with the pass lead to the outside. That's a very good option. Your third read uh, on this play is going to be your drag route to little. So you're going to go right, left, middle, and then you're going to go back to your right. So B's no, wheel no, drag yes. And then you hit it and you go, go, go. Now this won't be open against cover four because of the purple zones, but I'm going to show you the reads anyway. So now we're going to look right, left. Your fourth read is going to be Gordon. So right, no, 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 Gordon, pass lead down to the outside. Sometimes it'll be open, but it's really not a good throw against cover four. Okay, and then your fifth read is going to be your deep post. So, no, no, no. Pass lead up for that post route because it's cover four. 
And yes, yes, yes. And then the last read on this play is potentially a user catch to Benjamin way downfield. No, no, no. Pass lead up. Swerve him to the inside to get underneath that yellow zone and then come back to the outside for the catch. And that's how you do that against cover four. And then real quick, I'll show you two men under. Okay, so two men under. Your smoke screen's not going to be covered, but your wheel route will be open. And that time was a really awkward. Uh, when you user catch the wheel route, you got to be a little careful. You need to practice it a little bit. You really don't have to user catch this wheel route because of the effectiveness of it. But if you want to, you want to come right into the inside. So left. Here it is. And then you just come to the inside, click it on, and make it a play. Remember, our third read is our drag. So no, no, but since the drag's a slot drag, it's going to beat man coverage, which is what I love it about it. And there you see beaten man. All right. And then fourth read is going to be the corner route. Sometimes it'll get pressed, but when it doesn't get pressed, it's going to be wide open. And then the fifth read is going to be the deep post Cameron. I accidentally left bees on that mesh. He gets bumped, which is why he's our late read. And you see, he's going to get open against man once he takes his cut to the inside. And then our last read, again, is a user catch to Benjamin way downfield. We're just trying to, you know, get in that position and make a user catch. So that's the mesh play, guys. Uh, and then real quick, I, wanted, I do want to show you cover two. Because cover two is very simple. Um, obviously, your first initial read won't be open, but your second one will be. You have to wait a little bit to get over that yellow, over that flat zone, but you can get over it. I wanted to show that. Um, again, he's not going to get bumped, and so just pass lead up once he cuts to the field. It's going to provide you for massive gains against cover two. All right, and then the next read is the route to Gordon or the the drag, excuse me. So no, no, yes, we get the drag, and we're going, and we're going, and going. Cool part about the drag, it beats man in zone. They have to use or control that. They're not going to use or control that because of the effectiveness of Benjamin's wheel route. Corner route, does it beat cover two? Yes, it does. Pass lead it to the outside. Don't pass lead it up. The other pass lead it up like you would against cover two sink. And you don't want to do that. You want to pass lead to the outside. So real quick, let me show you that one more time. Something like that. Basically turning it into an out route. And then your last read, or excuse me, your third read, or your your fifth read, second to last read, is going to be Cameron. Here you would just pass lead him open. That's all you're doing. You're just going right through the zones like they're not even there. You're trying to just hit the voids. And then your last read is your user catch option. Deep, deep, deep. You got to get underneath it, and there you go for a user catch. And then what about cover? What about cover three? We haven't shown you that yet. Cover three, what's going to happen is your first read will be open. Uh, Bees will be open against cover three because of the press. If they purple him, which you, you know a lot of guys do purple their cover three, then he will also be open, which is nice. So against cover three, no matter what, he'll be open, which is cool. Um, your first read to the left should be wide open as well. Just pass lead it to the left. I like to use L2 as well when I pass when I pass out of this. And then your third read, your drag is going to get bumped, but eventually it will cross underneath, getting wide open. Your fourth read, your corner route. And it's going to get bumped, so it's not going to be open at first, but then initially, then it will get open. You need to pass lead it down to the outside, um, and it should get wide open here. I'll show you that one more time. And there you see it. And then your... Um, your wheel route, ah oh shoot, I accidentally audibled out of that, crap. So your wheel route, or excuse me, your post route. Your post route, what you're going to do with your post route here is just pass lead it to the left and up. So about 11 o'clock against cover three. And then lastly, guys, your wheel route to Benjamin against cover three, same thing. You're just trying to come underneath it like that and uh, make the user catch. So, thanks for watching, guys. This is a great little mini scheme. It's really, really effective. Uh, it's just not effective enough if they do, if they make all of your right adjustments at the right time, it can cause you problems. You can get a little bit too into this play. Um, and that's why I, I want to reserve it for just a mini scheme, two minute offense type of thing. Or maybe just something that to start. Maybe you want to run this the whole first half and then go into your main stuff. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, just use it as your, at your, um, at your discretion, but remember, 
um, it does have potential to be shut down. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you enjoyed this scheme, if you enjoyed this Chicago Bears playbook breakdown, please, 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 uh, subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, like and favorite this video. And also, if you can hit me up on Twitter, um, at MadTips365. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, if you could retweet this video for me, uh, again, greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's scheme. And let's get into this gameplay. We'll see you next week with another great offensive scheme.